Dear friend, if you are looking for God, if you are an unbeliever, you don't know if God is real, or if you're even a Christian, but you're not really sure of your faith, you can get much more than that, dear friend. But all you need to do is to truly seek God humbly, is to go to Him with that child heart, that heart of a child, dear friend, if you have that. And if you go to God, He will answer you. Jesus promised, dear friend, that whoever goes to Him, He will never cast out. I see sometimes some Christians ask me what they should do in order for God to answer them. And many also get discouraged very fast. They pray and then they don't hear anything and then they say that God is not answering them. They give up. Dear friends, God is not on our timetable. We need to trust God and we still need to go after Him. We need to know that He is in control and that He knows our best. If He doesn't answer today, it's for our own good also. He maybe wants us to wait until we get an answer. But it's our responsibility to keep going after Him. Jesus said, Him who seeks will find. And if you keep seeking, dear friend, you will find. Jesus Christ promises you that. But you need to trust Him, dear friend. You cannot give up. There is nothing else, dear friend, that you can do in this life that will fill you, that will make you joyful. And there is nothing more beautiful than to get the Holy Spirit. To get the Holy Spirit, dear friend, is not just something that you believe without experience. It is the most beautiful experience. It is something that you cannot describe. The Holy Spirit, dear friends, is something that you will experience for real. You will know that you know that God has come and visited you. His Holy Spirit is something that is felt all through your being, dear friend. Have you experienced the Lord Jesus? Have you went to Him with that broken, humble heart, dear friend? And did you cry out to Him? If you're still running after the things of this world, dear friend, if you think that you're going to accomplish something, then they're going to be a shock for you. Because at the end, you will lose everything. I know that you don't maybe believe what I'm saying. A lot of people, they mock Christians because we talk that way. Because we're living in another dimension. A spiritual dimension, which can only be discerned if we have the Holy Spirit. The world cannot receive the Holy Spirit, dear friends, because they are not willing to repent and to turn away from sin, from selfishness, and to seek God in order to find Him. It takes that love of the truth, dear friend. And if you have that love of the truth, you want to know the truth, if you truly seek God, you will find Him. And that is no matter where you come from, what your background is, and that is no matter how much you sinned in the past. God will forget everything. He will forgive everything. And He will give you a new beginning, dear friend. He will grant you mercy and forgiveness. Many people today are busy with many things. But they didn't find the true treasure. And the true treasure is available for you, dear friend. If you go to Jesus Christ, He will give you eternal life. There is nothing like it in this world. It is something that I cannot describe to you. But when you get born again, when the Holy Spirit comes for the first time and lives inside of you, you will know it, dear friend. And then you will be a true child of God. Nothing will be able to separate you if you are willing to continue and abide in Christ until the end. And may God bless you.